Hey guys, Brandon here from GreaterMix.com. Today I have a quick one for you. Now this may not be the most exciting topic that I could be talking about, but it is still very important and should help your sessions in Pro Tools go by a bit smoother. If you've never opened up the Pro Tools Preferences menu, you should definitely check it out because there are a ton of configurable options to customize your workflow. And today I'm going to show you three Pro Tools preferences that you should change immediately. In this video, I'm using Pro Tools 11, but you should have pretty similar options depending on the version you're using. The first option I always change is how my plugins are organized. By default, all plugins are sorted by category, but this can be more difficult to find a certain plugin, especially if you have a lot of them. Luckily, there's a setting you can change to also sort by manufacturer, so you can view both. All you have to do is go to the Display tab, then under Organize Plugin Menus By, choose Category and Manufacturer. Now, if I don't know what category a plugin belongs to, but I know the manufacturer, or if I want to view all plugins I have from a particular company, I can do so easily and quickly. The next setting I always change are my Zoom Toggle options. Now, if you don't use Zoom Toggle, it's one of the most handy keyboard shortcuts available. It definitely saves you time if you have the settings configured correctly. Let me show you how it works. Say I want to zoom in on a waveform or multiple waveforms quickly. All I have to do is make a selection and press E to zoom in on that waveform, which is great for zooming in horizontally, but I also want to zoom in vertically. If I go into Preferences and go to the Editing tab, I prefer having the Track Height option set to Fit to Window. That way, when I zoom toggle on a selection, it fills my entire screen so I can easily see what I wanted to. The last and most important setting I always change is how often my sessions get backed up. By default, Pro Tools will automatically back up your session every 5 minutes and only keep 10 of the most recent backups. But a lot can happen in 5 minutes, and each backup hardly takes up any space, so I like to increase the frequency and the amount of backups that are kept. I choose to keep 30 backups every 2 minutes, but you can change this to whatever you feel is best. I like using these settings because it means I have an hour of backups, and if Pro Tools crashes or I automatically delete something, I can revert back quickly without losing anything. So there you have it, the three things in Pro Tools preferences that I think you should change immediately. Just changing these three things in Pro Tools will save you a lot of time and headaches. Now what I want to know is what settings you guys can't live without, so please leave your suggestions in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thanks.